Hi Johnny, thanks for playing the other day. Hope you've warmed up a little bit since we uh, since we ventured out onto Fairhaven. Uh, just to go over what we're looking at in your swing or in your pitch shot. Yourself on the left, Mike Weir on the right. Looks a little bit warmer where he is. If we take into the back swing, we can see there that there isn't a great deal of movement in regards to the wrists and the club. So it's quite stiff wristed on the way back. If we compare that to what we see with Mike Weir hitting a similar distance of shot, we see a little bit more setting of the wrist. Yeah? So the idea is to try and get the club head swinging a little bit more during your backswing, soften up the wrist action. That gives you a little bit more length in your swing. So if we watch Mike Weir as he comes through, because he's got sufficient hinge in his wrist and a little bit of length, although his arms haven't moved much further than yours, his club head has travelled further. As he comes through now, he can release that angle through, swing through nice and smoothly. And you see on the other end of the golf swing, he gets that nice release of the club again. So if we just put a little sort of graphic on there just to illustrate that. He's creating, if you will, an L position on the way back. And then he creates a mirror image of that on the way through. So he's definitely involving his wrist there, he's not dominating the swing with his wrist, but there's a softening of the wrist to give the swing some length to allow for a smooth acceleration. And you can see how quietly his body works. With yourself, we can see that we don't really create enough angle here, which means we haven't got much distance and the club head isn't travelling too far during the goal swing. And then as we come into the hitting area, we've got to muscle it with the upper body and the legs to make up for the lack of leverage. So we're going to muscle it with the body and legs at that point. And you can see again that we just don't create that sort of L shape. So a very, very stiff wristed way of swinging that isn't very versatile, doesn't generate a lot of feel and unfortunately results in a lot of miss hits. So a lot of amateur golfers think that you should swing without your wrist. That's fine on a little chip shot, but when you start playing pitch shots from 20, 30 yards out, you've got to soften those wrists up like you're seeing here on the right with Mike Weir. I'll just play that through for you in slow motion so you can see what happens. The club head is travelling further than what you're seeing with your swing. So like I say, I enjoyed your company the other day, Johnny. You played pretty well in and out, a little bit like all of us. Uh, just a little bit more work on that pitching, polish it up before the season starts, and I'm sure you'll have a good year. Good luck. Speak soon. Bye.